Thank you very much. I have a grandson, Rex Alfred, who was born on the 1st of August 2013. He is the only son of my only son, Evan, and his wife, Min. I hope to God that neither he nor my son or daughter-in-law will ever have to fight for our freedom in the way that millions did between 1914 and 1918. Among those millions were my aunt and two uncles, Winifred, George and Sidney Brazel. 16 million died in the war to end all wars, together with 20 million casualties. A hundred years ago today, We've been at war with Germany for 73 days. All be over by Christmas, was the general cry. How wrong that was. It all started with the shooting of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie by Gavrilo Princip in Sarajevo on the 28th of June, 1914. 37 days later, Britain declared war for hugely complicated and very confused reasons. But the final reason was because Germany invaded Belgium, a neutral country. George Herbert Brazel, my grandfather, was 49 years of age at the outbreak of war, and his wife, Annie, 39. They lived at 52 High Street, Amersham, now 95 High Street, Amersham, next door to the Elephant and Castle with their 10 children, Winifred, George, Sidney, Doris, Elsie, Ronald, Edward, John, Robin and Nan, running the family butcher shop in the converted front room. 52 High Street only had three bedrooms, so there was clearly a great deal of doubling and trebling up required and probably topping and tailing too. Can you imagine the chaos and discipline in equal measure to cope with this menagerie? But cope they obviously did for many years, as well, of course, as operating the butchery business. The three eldest children in 1914 were Winifred, 20, George, 19, and Sydney, 18, all of whom decided to sign up in one way or another to serve their country. Not, I hasten to add, to relieve the congestion at home but out of a pure sense of duty and loyalty to king and country. Incidentally, the youngest of the ten children was my mother, Nan Brazel, who was one years old in 1914. Next door to the Brazel's butchers were the Bizzle family, <laughs> who ran a general grocer's store, now the premises of the grocer coffee shop. They had five children, two of whom, Bertram and Roland, also served in the Great War. They were great friends of George and Annie Brazel and their respective children played happily together in Pondwicks, beyond the River Misbourne, which ran behind their homes in the High Street. Did they join in, I wonder, with the terrible tricks that the Brazel boys played on their mother Annie while sitting on the outside toilet perched over the River Misbourne? <laughs> Stones were launched to great effect in just the right spot causing an uplift of water into the nether regions of my grandmother Annie. Bertram Bizzle wrote a poem following his last leave home on a postcard with royal portraits at its head and the words To my truest of pals, my mother. May the Lord watch forever between me and thee when we are absent one from the other and these words that I send with my heart, full of love, to the best of dear pals, my mother. For king, queen, and country we're fighting, honor and right is our watchword true. Though might at first seem to hold sway, naught shall conquer the red, white, and blue. Twas many months since I left my loved home, to answer Lord Kitchener's cry. The parting was hard, and though she tried to be brave, there was a tear in my dear mother's eye. God bless you, said she. God bless her, say I.
for mothers a man had no better. And while I'm in England, or when I go to the front, she knows I shall never forget her. Bertram Bizzle did not survive the war. He died on the 10th of September, 1915, aged 22. <coughs> Whatever was going through Annie Brazel's mind when her three eldest children told her they too wished to serve king and country? 